hello friends welcome to my youtube channel i am back with a new video today i will let you know five amazing excel tricks that will make you advance in excel so let's get started our first trick is how to create highlighting search box in excel like this if i search here any text this will be highlighted and if i search here another text like i'm searching here july i'm getting these values highlighted right so how we can create this search box so simply what you have to do is first go to this developer tab and click on insert and here you have this text box simply click on this and create one text box like this now right click on this text box and click on properties and link one cell right now i'm just linking here m3 m3 cell then just close this property section and now what you have to do is just select your range where you want highlights so simply i'm just selecting this range and just go to conditional formatting and click on new rule here you can select here uh, this use a formula to determine which cells to format now just type here one function that is and then search function you can use now just give your cell that you have linked here so that cell is by using this dollar sign you can give that cell then comma now give your first cell of your data mm -hmm. so in this case So this is my first cell so simply i've just choose this now you have to just remove this dollar sign then close this bracket then comma now type here your that cell which you have linked so that is m3 so just use the dollar sign again And then use this less than greater than and double quote two times just close this bracket and now you have to choose this format i'm just going to this fill part and click on this format just click on ok again click on ok now our format is set and now if i go to this developer tab just close this design mode and now you can search here like this if i search here south c my values are highlighted right same as this you can search another text like i'm searching here 2019 see i'm getting these highlights let's move to our next trick which is how we can retrieve data when you have two criteria mm -hmm. by using xlookup function so simply in this case i have department and the month so these are two criteria and i want to find out training hours in this simply what you can do is from this data we have to find out simply we can apply here x lookup first now select your lookup value so just select your first criteria that is our department then comma now just choose lookup array so this department we have in this lookup array so just select this range then comma now again apply this x lookup function open bracket now just select your second lookup value that is your month then comma now our month lookup array is this month part just like this range now comma now our return array will be your numbers like your training hours simply you have to select this range and then just close the bracket again close the bracket then enter see i'm getting this 51 and you can match this we have the sales and the april data which is 51 so you can apply this x lookup two times to get data and to retrieve data when you have two criteria so just i'm moving to next part which is how we can create project tracker like this so this is another trick we have simply how we can create the project tracker like this what you have to do is just select this range and insert checkboxes 
and now just you have to apply one function here which is simply you can use this rep function open bracket now in double quote you can type this line again double quote then comma now you can use here count if function open bracket just like your range then comma now we want just true values to count so just type here true and close this bracket and multiply it with 20 and just you want to close this bracket so just drag this to all okay if i check this see i'm getting this bars so simply what you have to do is now just you have to change the font just you have to change the font go to home tab and just change this font to play bill see and now you can change the color also what you can do for changing color just select this range and go to this text and choose the color so like this you can create project tracker in excel so just i'm moving to next trick which is how we can create actual versus budget chart like this so how we can create this chart simply what you have to do is just select your range like this go to insert tab and click on this column chart you will get this chart right so simply next what you have to do is go to again this insert and click on the recommended chart and go to all charts click on combo and click on ok now it just converted to combo chart just click on this line and right click on this click on format data series and just go to fill and line and click on this no line because we want no line here and go to this marker and click on marker options and just select this built in and select here this line and change the size to 15 and if you see here we are getting these targets lines right so which is the budget for this case now what you have to do is just change the color of this just right click on this and we have this fill part and just choose the color like this and your chart is ready so just move to next trick which is how we can auto filter in excel so simply what you have to do is uh, so this is the trick we have uh, simply if i want this filter of this titan industries we don't require to go to this data tab and click on this filter or we we have this feature also here uh, this one so instead of using this thing what you can do is you have one trick which is just i'm pressing shortcut which is alt line which is alt 9 simply if you see here i have just got the filter of this titan industries right so simply if you want to clear this alt ac you can use so why this happened we have this auto filter feature here which is the shortcut if i press alt i'm getting this 9 here so simply how we can add this auto filter features so what you have to do is just go to this customize quick access toolbar and click on more commands and now just select here commands not in the ribbon and just choose you will get this option of this auto filter here right this is the auto filter option and just click on add i have already added this right now this is on the ninth position just i am getting so just you have to press alt 9 to filter any value like i want to filter like south values so simply what you can do is alt 9 you can use which is a shortcut and in your case it it can be different uh, so like this you have to use this trick if you like this video don't forget to share this video thank you so much for watching